In today's video, I'm going to show you how to activate the rear camera option on this Ford Nugget with the Sync 3 using Forescan. Good morning guys. Um, whilst we're working on this Nugget and doing a reversing camera, I'll drop a link to the, the main video for that. I thought it might be useful um, to show you, if you're keen on it, on how to activate the reversing camera option on a Ford Sync 3. Now we're doing it on this Nugget. Um, I presume as long as you have the Sync 3, which I'll show you in a second, and you have an official Forescan tool, coding dongle, license, software, and all that sort of stuff, um, that you'll be able to do the same as well. So what I'll just do is I'm just very quickly gonna show you how it all looks whilst Richard is very busy uh, working on the vehicle. So the main important thing is to make sure that you have the sync free. Now it looks like this, but you can confirm. Settings, general, scroll up, about sync. And it will say sync free there. So as long as you say, as long as it has sync free, then in theory, um, you can follow the next step that I'm about to do so that you can do this activation for yourself. You'll need an interface or a wiring loom to go into this. And then also you'll need the camera for your particular Ford and also all the Ford Ford scan stuff and all of that. So what we'll do is when I've got the computer on, I will do a screen recording so you can see what I'm doing. Um, at the moment, I'll just pop it down. You can see it's just sensors there at the moment. Um, but we'll do the screen recording. We'll show you step by step how to do it using the software. And then we'll show you the finished article. Um, we like doing these videos now and again just to be able to show you how to do stuff that we do. Um, but if you're not confident with it, then you've always got the option of uh, us doing that for you as well. So stay tuned. Right, so first and foremost, you need to get your four scan system all loaded up. I'm currently running the two. 3.41 and we're going to go straight in and click the connection button and take it out of demo mode now this bit takes about a minute for you to be able to what it's doing is it's just going through all its protocols and then it's sort of doing like a very basic scan of the car or the vehicle or whatever you're working on to see what type of module so you'll see in a second once that checking the bluetooth bit we're actually connected in through a cable but it's, it does that bit first and then it looks like the cable versions and then what it's doing there you go so it is asked if the adapter is not optimized for maximum performance i'm just going to click yes on this bit you, you might not even need to do it and there you go it started picking up on the vehicle and it's scanning through all the different modules um, that the vehicle has and so you just need to give it a couple of seconds uh, just to be able to go through it the more stuff that you've got in there the, the longer it's going to take um, so we'll just wait for it to finish up, won't be too much longer. A couple more, and then it asks you if you'd like to save a profile, which is, I would always recommend doing this, just so that you've got a log of what you're doing, when you're doing it, who it's for, and all of this sort of stuff. So just give it a name that's useful to you, so that you know what you're doing, save it, and away you go. You can always go back to where you were, were before. So we're gonna go over to here, configuration and programming, and just click the button. For the camera, um, we need to go to the API module configuration. So just click that one, let's move that out of the way, and we're gonna push the little play button, and that opens it up. It's called run service procedure, and then we're just gonna click okay, it just makes, sure that everything is correct and then we're going to scroll down so you've got loads of different stuff in it this is the loads of videos for later on in the future uh, but we're scrolling down to look for where is it uh, rear vehicle camera you select it um, you click right oh no not that one double click it changing it to enable the little tick and then hit right and that saves it to the ecu confirm little progress bar, ignition off, ignition on, and then that's the, uh, the programming done. So what we'll do is we'll jump back into the vehicle so that you can see what this has done for you and um, yeah, and see what it's done. Okay, so you've just watched me doing all of the coding with the Forescan and the OBD diagnostic system and it, it's done it. After we did the say, after we wrote the data to the vehicle, the sync unit rebooted and 
all we do is pop it in reverse. The camera's already in, and there we go. Reversing camera, all fully activated using the four scan diagnostic system and the Ford OBD uh, interface. We've got the check surroundings for safety. We've retained the parking sensors information. Um, so not a bad job. If you want to get this inst installed, you know how to do it now. Or if you want us to do it, make sure you get in touch. Um, www.advanced-in-car.co.uk. We'll probably try and do a few more little videos like this for the Ford platform as and when we get time. Um, but as always, thanks for watching.